So without further ado, episode three, season three, Drive to Survive. I haven't got any diseases that you can catch airborne. It's not his. A tow essentially Whoa. means that a car... Great job, Max. Good to felt too. give you a tow down there as well. <laughs> but I would have not made into this sport if... Shit, man. We, we haven't jumped skydive for eight. Oh, oh my God. Bob says hardcore. I miss skydiving as well. My wife won't let me do it anymore. But turning anger into motivation and will to win. Mm -hmm. If I listen too much. Change the pitbulls. Yeah, copy. Okay, we're we'll wow. now. Everyone making mistakes in this Whoa. sport, even the best. It reminds me of Rocky again. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly like Rocky IV. And it's Hamilton in the lead. Bottas is going round the outside of Hamilton. Damn. Ooh. Holy shit. He's out of the race. The race leader, Ooh. Lewis Hamilton, for practice start. Bottas takes victory. There you go, Valtteri. Nice racing. There's a reason why Lewis is in this team, but you know, there must be also a reason why I'm, I am in this team. Mm -hmm. All right, so first off, Valtteri, I want your song. Are you kidding me? Even the walls have giant like panorama windows so that you can see the nature outside. That is awesome. Now that being said, listen, as much of a team sport that Formula One is like as a whole and i can get that it is a very individual sport for the drivers because they are against each other for individual points and that's hard there gets a point that the selflessness to make the team better starts to go against your responsibility as a driver as a competitor and, and it goes against your individual point take for example what valtteri botas did at this grand prix i actually agree with what he did very much so the problem that i have is that he alienated the pit and specifically the team principal toto he alienated them and even caused some tension between himself and hamilton quite honestly all of this could have been fixed if valtteri had done one thing communicate his plan because i don't think anyone would have cared. I don't think anyone would have argued with him other than Toto a little bit because he wants, you know, the consistent one, two, one, two, one, two, like every single race because it provides a, a visual sense of dominance and it turns other teams from thinking of themselves in the same way. You do want both drivers, both cars to finish as far ahead than anyone else as possible. I think you would have seen Valtteri's point had he communicated. Now, once the race was all said and done, Valtteri finished in first, Verstappen finished in second, and Hamilton finished in third. I am so looking forward to watching this specific Grand Prix because there was so much action in the first corner. Like it was, wow, I'm happy no one was hurt, but wow, that was a lot of tension just in the first two kilometers, let's say. it was. It was a lot of fun to watch. Speaking of noticing, anytime they show like BTS, which stands for behind the scenes, I am finding myself looking at the setup, the live setup of the interviews and and all of the gear and all that, just to see if they are using aperture lights. Fun fact, some of them are, but not in this season. Like now, some of them are. But that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on episode four. Take care.